storm late, Miss Karen. I was at the doctor's. Well, you look fine to me, so what exactly is wrong with you? Not to be rude, but that's none of your business. Well, then I just don't believe you. I have a doctor's note. Hmm. No doubt it's probably a fake. It's been signed by a doctor at the bottom of the slip, if you look. Are you trying to say I can't read? I will be looking into this. No, I'm just not lying. I was at the doctor's. Right. Well, then I'm going to phone this doctor and ask him myself. Hello? Hello there. I'm calling about Kean Tamblin. He came to see you earlier. Sorry, um, who is this? I'm his teacher, Miss Caron. Oh, yes, he did actually mention you. So he was there? I can clarify that he was here, I just cannot disclose why. This is ridiculous. I'm coming down there right now. What? Are you seriously going down there? Yes, I am, and you're coming with me. Wait! Hello, Doctor. Hello again, Kian. And you must be the woman that rung me? Yes, that is me. I thought you said you were a teacher. I am. Then why aren't you in school teaching? I sent Kian back to school. Because my pupil, Kian, is clearly lying about where he was this morning, so I'm here to investigate. So you took him out of school now, without his parents' permission? I'm calling the police. No, wait, I, I have a reason, I have a reason. Care to explain? He fainted. He what? Yep, I can work with that. Um, Kian fainted in class, so I thought I would just bring him here to get checked up on. Oh my god, Kian, did you really? No, I don't know what she's... Ow! See, he's in pain. Something doesn't seem right to you. I'm just going to make a quick phone call. This is all your fault, Kian. How is it my fault? If you didn't lie about where you were this morning. I didn't lie. I told you where I was. But you didn't give me a reason. But you didn't need to kidnap me. I didn't kidnap you. If I told the school about this, it could potentially get you fired. That's how serious this is. Don't start with me, young man. Right, I'm back. And there's someone that wants to speak with you both. Oh, no. Miss Karen? Headmaster, um, what are you doing here? I got a phone call saying there was a teacher here with a student. Yes, um, Kian wasn't feeling too well. He almost fainted in class. Then why didn't you bring him to the school nurse or the office? Oh, I feel a bit dizzy. Are you okay, Miss Karen? I'll be fine. Miss Karen? Oh God, what happened? You fainted. The last thing I remember was the room spinning. Can you sit up okay? Yes, I'll try my best. Anyway, Miss Karen, back to the matter at hand. Yes? Kian has told me everything that happened and we will discuss this matter back at school. Like I said, Kian has told us everything. As much as you were trying to help, you should have just taken him to the school nurse. What? You mean I'm not in trouble? No, Kian has told us that you tried to help him and we're both grateful for what you did. Oh, yes, I, I was just doing my job as a teacher, trying to make sure my pupils are fit and healthy. I'm glad to see you care so much about your pupil. Don't even mention it. Can I have a moment alone with Miss Karen? I just want to thank her in private. Yes, of course. Thank you. And why didn't you tell him the truth? What did you tell him? I'll explain what I said to him. And then I'll explain why. Go on then. It happened after you passed out. Oh, for God's sake. I'll go get her some water. Thank you. So, Kian, what exactly happened today? Like Miss Karen said, I felt dizzy in class and I almost fainted, so she offered to bring me here. Are you sure? Because on the phone the doctor made it sound like you got kidnapped and brought you against your own will. No, she did ask me. I was here earlier, so I felt more comfortable seeing the doctor than the school nurse. It's my fault for you. Okay, well, my door's always open if you need to talk. Thank you, I'll keep that in mind. And that's what I told him. 
But why on earth would you make that story up? If you told him the truth, I could have been in serious trouble, and I know you want that. Because as much as you pick on me, your class is actually the one where I get the highest grade. So you're just being selfish? You only want good grades? I could have ratted you out for kidnapping, and that's all you have to say? Well, I would like to say thank you. Sorry, what was that? Thank you. Louder this time, with feeling, Miss Karen. Thank you, okay? You're welcome. But if you ever, and I mean ever, try anything like that again, and I will tell the headmaster exactly what happened today. Are you blackmailing me, Kian? Maybe I am. Finally, you learned something. And you still never told me why you were at the doctor's.